some have good bank or bad bank banks. Uh, um, yeah. Not that we can't just bend it back to our right in the middle. No, right on the line on both of them. my drilling glasses on here. This will be the best powder coat oven you've ever seen. Ow! I'm counting. What did you do? I just shocked myself. You better be. I'm counting on it. Like... Now, do we have a vice grip? Extra... And we are putting the studs at 15 inch on center to accommodate the R22 value insulation. Okay, we are uh, installing the rear wall, then the two sides, and then we'll lift the roof on top of it, and so everything will get attached to that heavy duty floor remade. Yeah, once we get everything lined up, we have to make sure the very front of this case of all the three, the two sides and the top and the bottom, it's flush because that's what the door will seal against eventually. Nice. Hey, except we have this edge. That is Okay, using really high temperature wires, um, eight of them, two to each element, and then the temperature probe. Um, now installing the insulation, I split it in half and tucked it behind the wires, then the wires in the center of the insulation, and then the outside of the insulation. Best way to do it. And then there you go. All eight wires, the temperature probe. Yeah, looks pretty good.
this is the start of the ducting. Um, we need to circulate the air so air will come in from the top, get sucked in by high temperature fan and then it'll get blown in into this ductwork down to the bottom and that way we'll get the circulation we need. And now you can see where I've actually soldered the connections, the eyelid onto the high temperature wire. That's a lot better than just doing a mechanical crimp connection. Get it soldered then you know it's not going to fall off. And then there you go, it's uh, nicely screwed into the element, the element's not touching the box. Wires aren't touching the box and then what I actually did, I wrapped insulation around everything just to make sure everything's kind of cool in there. We don't need it to get that hot and put the cover on. Okay, we got all the ducting in and uh, there's that nice high temperature fan sucking in the air from the ceiling and blowing it back down to the bottom. Eventually we will insulate that ducting work. We also made this frame out of 10 gauge that goes on the very front so the door seal will have a nice flat surface to adhere to. Yeah, okay, we got the fan, the ductwork, um, four elements, um, the controller panel, the thermostat installed in the far corner. Yeah, we're getting pretty close to getting done here. So we still have to build the door hinges, latches, and do all the wiring for the control panel. I've included the wiring schematic here just for this controller, so just to show you what we need to do. We did not put a light in it, we did not put a window in it. That way, um, we've got to finish sil silicone obviously, but with high temperature silicone. But we've made this a pretty tight box other than the intake for the fan and the exhaust of the fan just to keep that air movement it's running it's going Well, it's gotten up to 93 degrees. With the door open, that's pretty... With no door. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Where, where's the door, Richard? <clears throat> I have to edit this out. That's sweet. <laughs> Powder coating's done! <laughs> Well, we insulated that ductwork and put a cover on it and then we installed the door seal with some glue. So yeah, it's all done. Okay, we'll see how dark it gets in here after we put the seal. Don't forget I'm in here. I'm going to turn the oven on too. Wow, pretty good. 